Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the crouching posture of Macaroceratops. Scientists aren't sure how the Ceratopsian dinosaurs would have rested. One view is that they would lie down directly, and another view is that they would hold their limbs underneath their body and crouch on fours. We're going to draw a Macaroceratops in a crouching posture based on the latter view. Note that its limbs were short and stocky, so they couldn't curl too much. First, let's draw the head of Macaroceratops, starting with its highly arched nose. Then, move on to its keratinous beak, as well as the upper and lower jaws. We can make the keratin on its nose look thick. It had large nasal cavities, and the nostrils were located relatively low. Then, draw its eyes. And the brow horns protruding upward. Finally, Draw its head frill with the curved horns. While crouching on the ground, Macaroceratops would be on high alert, so we need to draw its neck a bit upright so that its head can be held up. Next, move on to its limbs. We can only imagine its posture. When it was crouching on the ground, its chest would be slightly lifted, while its belly was touching the ground. Its upper arms would bend backward, whereas its forearms would stretch forward. Its hind limbs were kneeling, but since the thighs were wrapped by the body's skin, they wouldn't appear to be bending forward too much. The crouching Macaroceratops would look like an elephant or rhino crouching on the ground.
finally complete its body. We can shade the area under its belly. Its back was arching and its tail was on the ground. At the body parts that were bent and squeezed, we can draw some folds. Finally, draw the ground. Now, we've completed the Macaroceratops in a crouching posture.